Jesus finally came. Jesus came walking on the lake. But between verse 24 being buffeted by waves and verse 25, when Jesus appeared, a thousand questions were asked. Questions you have probably asked too. Perhaps you know the anguish of being suspended between verses 24 and 25. Maybe you're riding a storm, searching the coastline for a light, a glimmer of hope. You know that Jesus knows what you are going through. You know that he's aware of your storm. But as hard as you look to find him, you can't see him. Maybe your heart, like the disciples' hearts, have been hardened by unmet expectations. Your pleadings for help are salted with angry questions. The first section of what we've been talking about, we spoke of stress. The second is about storms. Stress attacks your nerves. Storms attacks your faith. Stress interrupts. Storms destroy. Stress comes like a siren. Storms comes like a missile. Stress clouds the day. Storms usher in the night. The question of stress is, how can I cope? The question of storms is, where is God and why would he do this to me? The second section of what we've been talking about for you is the pebble of pain. If the pebble of pain has struck the window of your heart or not, if you've known the horror of looking for God's face and seeing only his back as he ascends a mountainside, in the following, the last part of what we're going to talk about, you will discover hopeful chronicles to help you deal with your doubts. Let me introduce you to a few friends who learned to see through shattered glass. An entrepreneur stripped of treasures who found the treasure that no one could take. A father who learned of trust during a six hour drive with three children. A mother superior in New Mexico who discovered that prayer, her last resort, was her best resort. A woodsman who taught a village the virtue of patience. God's son, dog tired and heart sore, who found strength through heaven's friends. Some of these things may seem like fiction to you. Some are in fact fact. Some are legendary, others are biblical. Some are humorous, others are serious, but all have a message for those who know the anxiety of searching for God in a storm. The message, when you can't see him, trust him. The figure you see on the water is not a ghost. The voice you hear is not the wind. See, Jesus is closer than you've ever dreamed.